did you know that the best type of Easter jewelry to buy is a 14 karat gold necklace? Get it, carrot? Did you know that if you get married on Easter, you live happily ever after? <laughs> ah, okay. Hi guys, um, I wanna start out by saying how much I miss you and I cannot wait to see you when we get to go back to church. Um, today we're gonna be reading a story about a little donkey. Story time. Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village in front of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, the Lord needs them and he will send them at once. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put them in their cloaks. He sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. And we have a blue egg today to open, Let's see what our, it's a donkey. So the significance of the donkey is that in Jesus' day, most people walked everywhere. Sometimes kings rode on donkeys or horses when they entered a city. The people would stop what they were doing and watch the king ride by. On the day that Jesus rode into their city, the people were thrilled to see him. They believed that he was their new king who had come to save them and fill their lives with joy. The people showed their happiness by spreading three branches and coats, tree, sorry, tree branches and coats on the road. This was also their way of showing honor to Jesus, much like we might on a red carpet today. Okay, story time. Silver coins. Then one of the 12, whose name was Judas, went to the chief priest and said, what will you give me if I deliver him over to you? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver. From that moment on, he sought an opportunity to betray him. So today we have a pink egg. Let's see what's inside the pink egg. Silver coins. The significance of the silver coins to the Easter story is that not everybody was happy to have Jesus as their king. Some only pretended to be happy and on the inside, they didn't want anything to do with him. One of those pretenders was a man named Judas. Some other men hated Jesus so much that they wanted to kill him, but they needed the help of someone who could get close to Jesus. And because Judas was a pretender and because he was greedy for money, he told these men that he would help them capture Jesus if they would pay him 30 silver coins. So that's what the horns have to do with Easter story. I very much miss you. I will be praying for you to stay safe and happy during our time away. And I hope you all have a good day.